Hello friends, my name is Adrika and my today's story is Androcles and the Lion. It is by James Baldwin. So let's start. In Rome, there was once a poor slave whose name was Androcles. His master was a cruel man and so Androcles unkind to him that at last Androcles ran away. He hid himself in a wild wood for many days. But there was no food to be found and he grew so weak and sick that he thought he should die. So one day he crept into a cave and lay down and soon was fast asleep. After a great while and a great noise woke him up. A lion had come into the cave and was rolling rowdily. Androclus was very much afraid, for he felt that sure that the beast would kill him. However, he saw the lion was not angry, but he limped as though his foot hurt him. Then Androclus grew so daring that he took the whole of the lion's lame paw to see what was the matter. The lion stood quiet and still. He rubbed his head against the man's shoulder. He seems to say, I know that you will help me. Androclus lifted the paw from the gown. He saw there, there was a long sharp thorn which hurt the lion so much. He took the end of his thorn in his fingers and gave a strong quick pull and it came it out. The lion was full of joy. He jumped about like a dog and licked his hands and feet of a new friend. Androclus was not all at all afraid after this. And when night came, he and the lion lay down and felt sat side by side. For a long time, the lion brought food to Androclus every day. And the two became such good friends that Androclus found his new life a very happy one. One day, some soldiers who were passing through the wood frowned and luck and Rockless in the cave. They knew who he was, so they took him back to Rome. It was the law that every time a slave ran away from his master should be made for to a fight for a hungry lion. So a very strong lion was shut up for a while without food. And a uh, time was set up for the fight. When the day came, thousands of people crowded to see the sport. They were in such places that every time, very much as people nowadays go to see a circus show or a game of baseball. The door opened and poor and rockless was brought in. He was almost almost dead with fear for the rose of the land could already be heard. He looked up and saw there was no pity of thousand faces around him. Then a hungry lion rushed in. With a single bound he seized the poor slave. And Rockless gave a great cry, not for fear of but of gladness. It was his old friend, the lion of the cave. The people who accepted to see the man killed by the lion were filled with wonder. They saw Androclus put his arm around the lion's neck. They saw the lion lie down at his feet and lick him them like and lick him lovingly. They saw the great beast rub his head against the man's slave, that though he wanted to be petted. They could not understand what all was all it meant. After a while, they asked Androclus to tell them about it. So he stood up before them and with his arm on the nurse's neck, 
He told how he and the beast lived together in the cave. I am a man, he said, but no man has ever befriended to me. This poor lion has alone been kind to me, and we left each other as brothers. The people were not so bad they could be cruel to a poor slave now. Live and be free, live and be free, they cried. The others said, let, let the land go free too, give, give both of them their liberty. And so, Anraculus was set free, and the land was given to him for his own, and they lived together in Rome in many years. Thank you.